Hello and welcome back to Perspective. Today is Monday, a new week of Perspective, a new video for you guys, uh, recapping you know some of the things I'm working on, some of the changes. Uh, if you haven't seen last week's video, definitely recommend. Hey, go check it out. But when you go and watch last week's video, the name of the title is Change Has to Happen, right? Things must change. So one of the things that I'm getting ready to change and a commitment that I'm making, one of the biggest things that I'm getting ready to post something out to my community, an announcement, I'm working on a new course for my community. They'll get instant access to it inside the inner circle. We're also coming to the end of our, our month of reading for the new book club that I launched. I also have a YouTube video that you can watch on that if you're interested. Um, but right now we are reading the four hour work week as a community. September 17th will be the last day and then we'll have a community call where we discuss our key takeaways, how we can implement it in our life, and ultimately set up an action plan that we can hold each other accountable. Right? We don't want this community to just be a community where you're learning more and more and more and more, but you're not actually moving forward. It needs to be a community where people are taking action, people are building the life that they desire. Okay? So that is one of the other announcements that I'm making. The other big thing in terms of things need to change is something I am doing on the business front. And what I'm getting ready to do is October 1st, okay, so it's going to be October 1st, I am going to be increasing the price of this community. Uh, right now we have two tiers. We have an $8 tier, okay, so that's general accountability and time management. We have a time management course in there. Um, and then we have our inner circle. That's more of the high performance where you get more coaching calls, more access to me, a high performance program in there, a lot of resources and templates to like support their journey, whether they're in business, school, career, whatever it might be. Um, but that right now is 40 seven dollars a month okay and that is where the change is going to happen so now we're still going to have two tiers but the first tier is going to be eight dollars a month and the second tier is going to now be 97 dollars a month okay so more than doubling the community price all right this is long awaited long overdue uh, but a big step in terms of running the business and being able to provide the value and service and support that everybody inside of the community deserves. So that's going to help me be able to run the business as a business in the most effective way possible. All right. If you are watching this and you're not inside the inner circle and have any hopes or desire to be inside, please let me know if you want to connect on a call, walk you through everything. Click the link down in the be uh, below in the description. You can walk through it yourself, see if it's worth it for you to join in. If you're truly ready to take your life to the next level, it's not for everybody. It might be able to help anyone, but it's not for everyone. All right. You need to be a specific type of person, you know, to want to be able to take action on something like this. Um, but from now until October 1st, you will be able to get in for $47 when prices do change over they will not change for you um, you will still be locked into that same price so everybody that's in the community right now is safe I'm not the type of person that's just like oh boom we're bumping prices okay so I hope to see you on the inside we're gonna kick this video off just want to discuss some general updates um, but as I mentioned in last week's video I'm gonna be talking about two years in the coaching space into today's video but first let's hustle Let's get after it. Let's get some work done. Let's show some clips and then we'll jump back into the talking. All right, what is going on Project Life? Welcome to the first actual video of the Notion 101 course. We are going to start off with very simple, the basics, getting started. Have your Notion open, right? If I do something new that you've never done before, just do it, right? Even if it's on a page you already had made, even if you have to create a new page, right? Just do those steps. This way it becomes more and more familiar with you as time goes on. I need to run my business as a business and not as a charity. Um, I value myself in over delivering, I value myself in taking care of people, but I do feel like I've given away a lot of my time and a lot of my resources with not getting much in return, right? I've gotten my reps in the last two years, I've been able to make my impact, I've been able to give away you know, a lot for free, but it gets to that point where it's, hey, when it's a repetitive free call that I'm giving away, when it's a repetitive free resource I'm giving away, I'm only hurting my 
myself, I'm only creating more struggle and I'm only hurting the business. So this year things need to operate as a business and I need to continue to go and move forward while I'm helping myself and most importantly, being able to provide the value that people are paying for and receiving from me. I'm getting ready to jump on a call right now, but I'm gonna go into the second aspect of how I need to run my business as a business once we jump off of here. But uh, how are you doing? How's your week going so far? Going, it's strong, strong. Walking pretty much every day, pretty consistently, 30 minutes to start. To uh, 7.45 right now, p.m. Thursday. Uh, longer day on, honestly, you guys know, there's not a lot of running in my clips. Yes, I wanna do more cardio. Yes, I wanna be able to move around, but cardio is not really a staple that's in like every single week. Today was honestly more so thankful for you know, the manual labor that I did. I probably did the most manual labor, you know, I've done in a while, you know, and not just in terms of like hours worked, but actually things getting done in terms of, you know, weight moved, in terms of total movement or strength or, you know, required for myself. Uh, to give an example, you know, we were moving rocks around. I hope you guys can see me a little bit, you know, but um, that was part of what triggered me to be like, Hey, I'm tired. Hey, it wasn't a standard day. I was just, you know, out this evening or out this afternoon. I was like, let me go for a run. You know, let me push myself. Um, and those are the natural thoughts that I think come from personal growth. You know, when you're looking to level up, you find opportunities to challenge yourself, you know, and that can be found in every single thing that you're doing every single day. Hey, let me do one more rep. Hey, let me stay later. Hey, let me stay up longer. And that leads me to my next point. Tonight's probably gonna be a little bit of a later night. Going in, gonna eat dinner going to shower up but then I'm gonna go and you know edit this YouTube video I have a long day tomorrow a late night tomorrow I want to post this by sa Saturday morning Saturday I will have zero time to edit this video uh, so it comes down to tonight and tomorrow afternoon getting the video done so that it can be posted and scheduled to upload you know come uh, come Saturday morning using this camera as accountability you know one is hey extra clip to post in the video, right? But this is real stuff that I'm doing in my day to day, right? When I'm hopping on calls, I'm not making it look like I'm busy because if I was doing that, then I wouldn't be posting these videos in two, three weeks. Why? Because my business wouldn't be producing anything, right? If I was fabricating the stuff that I'm doing. Um, and that's one of the efforts that I'm trying to make is being more and more real with you guys. What does my situation look like? How am I navigating things? How am I challenging myself? But also the name of this channel, which I lose sight of, you know, often is perspective. What is my perspective on different things that are going on in my world? How am I analyzing things? Those are things I want to express to you guys, bring you guys along with, um, and most importantly, grow with you guys on. You guys are going to see me in my room editing. That's going to be later tonight. Could be nine, could be 10. Um, definitely shouldn't be later than that because I do want to get up early tomorrow. I'm going to make sure I throw a clip in there for accountability. Um, but I do want to throw in one more reflection in terms of my business, a key takeaway from the last two years, a key takeaway from just like me, me being, me growing, uh, and me being here today, grateful to, you know, continue to grow um, and be doing what I'm doing still. Good morning, happy Friday. We're jumping into the car right now um, and we're off. We're kicking off this day, but I got something to share with you. You wanna know something crazy? My mind, my mind just tried to take the easy way. It's Friday, it's 9.05 a.m. I just got done mowing the lawn, but the first thing that popped up this morning was one thing. I didn't wake up for my five o'clock wake up. Well, yesterday in my video, I was saying, you know, hey, I'm gonna be working late tonight. Hey, I did a lot of manual labor, but I don't care, I'm gonna push through anyway. And you know what I didn't do? I didn't push through anyway, but you know what my mind wanted to do today? My mind wanted to jump on to my Premiere Pro, right, while I'm editing this YouTube video, and it wanted me to take out the part where it said I was going to wake up at five o'clock in the morning. So for me, the people in your life, the accountability in your life is most important. So I want people in my life that are gonna call me out for the things that I am doing and not am, am not doing, okay? So for myself, it starts with me. 
right? Because if I can't say to myself, somebody else might never be able to hold me accountable to that standard. All right, so it starts with me. I missed my morning wake up. My body was shot. I'm very grateful that I did get to cut the lawn today because it got my legs moving um, in an unintense way. You know, it got things flowing, but we're kicking off the day. Uh, in 24 minutes from now, we have our monthly. I can't talk, my mind's not there. In 24 minutes from now, we have our monthly community chat, um, coffee chat kicking off. That is something that there is no intention for the call. I don't jump on with a certain topic. I mean, sometimes there's announcements that I'm making, but there's no, you know, set intention. There's no set, you know, agenda. We hop on, we talk about goals, we talk about whatever's going on in our life, we talk about books we're reading, we talk about our routine, we talk about whatever the hell comes to our mind. Um, so this is one of the calls that we have. Um, you know, again, not for me, it's for the community. I'm obviously a part of it. Uh, people have questions, they can ask me questions. If people have ideas, I'm ready to observe, I'm ready to listen, I'm ready to you know learn what they have to say. This way we can continue to turn the Project Life community to be one of the best if not the best one day are we there now no are we close we're headed in the right direction so i am getting ready to pull in gonna get some coffee and we are going to have an awesome day good morning happy friday we got our coffee i'm making coffee right now <laughs> <laughs> good morning um give it a moment see if anybody else jumps in you know me though i don't like wasting any time we're gonna kick things right off. If so that is a wrap on this video. I hope that you enjoyed all these clips. I hope that you enjoyed all of these reflections. And I wanna leave you with my final reflection of this video, okay? Now I mentioned it this morning as I was recording the video. Uh, and I was putting together right before jumping on my community coffee chat as I was running out for coffee, talking about I need people around me that are going to call me out right that know what i'm capable of know those standards because i act as that person a lot of times for other people inside my community right i help them see what they are truly capable of and that was my final reflection in terms of the first two years inside of business right it's great to be able to have this blessing of more freedom than working a nine to five right when you have that nine to five it's like can't get out of work right i can't get away from my schedule Thankfully for me, if I'm working with a one-on-one -on -one client, I'm able to adjust this call times, right? If something pops up, I say, hey, I can't do this time. How does this time, right? Obviously to an extent, but I always make sure that it's a reasonable time for whoever I'm working with because I do work with people from different time zones. But the reflection is just that in terms of my growth, my development, but most importantly, the truthfulness inside, I think that's a word, truthfulness, right? Truthfulness inside my own reflection, right? It's so easy to be able to, or not so easy, but it comes naturally for me to be able to observe a conversation, observe what's going on in my client's life and be able to say, hey, let's go here. Hey, let's do this. What's important in that process is making sure that they trust my advice so that they could go out, implement it and take action on it and see the rewards from it. But I need to sometimes be able to look at my life and look at my systems from the bleachers, right? Stepping outside of my mind, outside my body and say, why is Chris doing this? Why am I doing that? Why am I, you know, staying to do this when we're not getting results? I need to be better at adjusting and most importantly, keeping the foot down on the pedal inside of my business, right? Being truthful with, hey, this is not working, cut bait. Hey, this is working, but what do we need to do better? And most importantly, how I am showing up every single day with the 24 hours that I have. That's something that I'm continuing to push on. And another reason why I'm doing these accountability videos and showing some of the progress is because I know what I'm capable of and I know I'm very, very close. So stay on this journey with me. Let's keep growing together. Have a beautiful weekend whenever you're seeing this. And Keep raising your standard of living. Get surrounded by the right people, make the right choices, and continue to build the life that you want.